Virgin Australia steps into the ring as it goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with Qantas over airfare claims in the ongoing Qatar Airways saga. Qatar's sovereign wealth fund acquires a Manhattan hotel in a massive $623 million deal. We deep dive into the future of AI technology in Qatar's healthcare sector. And finally, BN Sports has pointed to record-breaking total regional views for the FIFA Women's World Cup. Hi, it's Fatma and you're watching The Roundup. Here are today's top stories from Qatar. The CEO of said allowing Qatar Airways to expand its flight capacity to Australia would lead to reduced airfares and a surge in tourism. The comments were made in direct response to the Qantas Airlines who claimed the move would not impact prices. Australia is currently grappling with the consequences of a decision to block a Qatar Airways request for more flights. Officials and aviation experts have slammed the move and are calling for an immediate U-turn on the decision. The CEO of Flight Center described it as illogical and said the decision could end up quote blowing up on the government. Over in Manhattan, Qatar Investment Authority now owns the glamorous Park Lane Hotel. The Sovereign Wealth Fund acquired the property with a transaction valued at approximately $623 million. This adds to a growing portfolio of properties in the Big Apple. And now, recent advances in artificial intelligence and robotics are not only redefining the health sector's future, but also promising to elevate the quality of patient care and treatment. At the heart of this transformation is a collaboration between a human and a machine, with robots taking on an ever-expanding role in a myriad of medical processes. Doha News spoke to experts in Qatar to see how they're fitting these technological advancements into the local health sector. Check out our website for the full report. And finally in sports, the FIFA Women's World Cup 2023 garnered a record-breaking total viewership of 93.5 million across the region, according to BN Sports. The tournament was held in Australia and New Zealand, where almost 2 million spectators attended the matches in person, this is a notable increase of over 600,000 compared to the previous record. That's it for me today. For more stories, head over to our website, dohanews.co, and make sure to download our app for your daily updates.